The subject of this video is uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP introduction for somebody who is not a programmer. Accounting software customization is uh, technical by its nature. However, decision making should be done by somebody who is not really a programmer but rather IT director or business owner in the case of small business, including tool selection, uh, customization partner um, and or hiring experienced programmer. It is common trend in software development industry uh, that um, ERP system vendors are opening uh, such uh, alterations uh, as uh, custom business logic integrations to uh, generic uh, programming languages. However, ERP Customization often requires exposure to uh, accounting uh, functionality, uh, special college degree in accounting or supply chain management, uh, or possibly um, long-term experience and uh, relevant certifications. This is why I would not recommend you to be too uh, optimistic about the learning curve uh, for somebody who is good in generic programming and uh, would like to um, customize, let's say, Microsoft Dynamics GP or all the version of Great Plains. Popular uh, customization, modification and integration tools are Dexterity, uh, eConnect, Integration Manager, uh, Modifier with VBA scripts, as well as uh, so-called uh, Visual Studio tools for Dynamics GP. It's not a surprise that um, developer who is just making the first steps in uh, GP customization is reluctant to pick uh, Dexterity as the tool of choice. The reasons are simple. Uh, this tool has a semi-proprietary uh, uh, coding language, some script, as well as uh, it is tightly um, integrated with uh, or tightly related to uh, table structure and uh, business processes of this, this application. Is customization tool and integrated development environment. I'd like to show you that um, it has uh, all the uh, tables listed in, in the dictionary. In this case this is core dictionary of the business logic and the name of this dictionary is Dynamics Dig. Besides tables you have all the forms as well as all the reports, including such reports as um, uh, sales invoice, purchase order, inventory picking list, etc. etc. And plus, it has scripts which are written in Sanskrit uh, programming language, which is rather the realm of uh, dexterity programmers, but I just like to mention it for you as business owner. Selecting technology consulting firm should not be restricted to just sales calls and meetings. Um, it's important to uh, verify proven records of successful customization projects and um, their certification and experience in uh, such tools as, uh, as, as dexterity. If they don't have dexterity expertise, I would not recommend you to pick them for uh, mid-size or large customization projects. However, it might be okay if it's just small, small uh, modification or integration with uh, minor uh, importance system. If you are facing a large-scale customization project, it is a good idea to check if proposed consultant firm is participating in so-called uh, source code partner program. These participations indicate that um, their consultant are dedicated to um, uh, GP software development, including creation of so-called add-ons or product for uh, business lo logic extension and Let alteration. Me give you an idea. What is source code partner? Uh, this 
consulting firms have access to uh, meta dictionary with all the scripts in it in your dynamics dictionary all the scripts are stripped out but let's see what I have in um, source code dictionary you can pick any script and take a look what is that you will see the uh, sans script codes if say your project is uh, relatively complex or large in its scale it is generally a good idea that your chosen programming um, people have access to source code and they can refer what is a core business logic and how to uh, make changes or improve the logic. Also, I'd like to mention possible red flags for you in selection process. If consultant has uh, little exposure to uh, GP architecture, she or he might be inclined to uh, do the job in some single lower level tools such as SQL, uh, insert or update statements and store procedures based on, on, on these constructions. Um, this approach may lead to a business logic violation and data inconsistency and uh, probably indicates about learning curve of the programmer. Experienced professional use, uses uh, integration manager or eConnect instead as these tools validate application business logic and uh, they are bulletproof for such issues as data inconsistency. This is integration manager. Again, I'd like to, to say that there is no need for um, for your programmers to do direct SQL scripts to uh, integrate data with Dynamics GP. Instead, you should use Integration Manager or eConnect. Here's an example how you uh, import uh, general ledger transactions. You simply uh, set up the integration where you pick uh, fields and do mapping from external text file or from external database with ODBC connection to it. This is a Connect Software Development Kit. It's good for your programmers if they are experienced in Microsoft Visual Studio. Let's switch to the context, contents and um, you can take a look at code samples if you're a programmer, but obviously not for you, but this is a good tool which validates business logic logic and um, let your people do bulletproof uh, integrations uh, with Dynamics GP. What if you cannot find GP gurus next door to your office? In my opinion, it is probably a good idea to have local consultants to do um, user training, initial software installation and um, just basic data conversion. However, the second phase where you need to customize uh, uh, application logic the less evil would be um, selecting a remote support partner with um, profound exposure to DEX or other customization tools versus picking somebody local who is um, in need of learning curve and um, too optimistic about uh, giving her or his company additional consulting hours. I'd like to give you a couple of advices how to avoid or let's say diminish the risk of project failure. I would say it will probably diminish it by 50 or 75 percent. First advice is to do to, to set up so-called test server. On this test server you should have separate GP installation with the copy of production company for um, and enable it for uh, your uh, dexterity developers. It is important to have um, the copy of production company because uh, customization is often uh, data driven. 
and uh, it's difficult to test it until you have exact the same data in say sales orders purchase orders inventory transfers or adjustments as you have in your production environment the second recommendation is to make it fa to, to do phased approach it's not a good idea to implement large-scale customization in 100% before going production. Try to make it step, step by step. In this case, you will see that, or possibly see that, let's say, oh, this piece of custom logic is not required because users find a way how to do it procedurally. Or you may find that you can purchase on the ISV market integrated software vendors um, add-on to do whatever you need to do partially for this customization 